Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. In today's video, we'll be going through what you can do with Color Note in 2022. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. If you'd like to organize your digital notes for easier navigation or to just have everything in one place, make sure to check out our digital notebooks. We will have a link to them in the description down below. We also have a collection of user guides for different applications on our website that can help you get started with different applications, including Color Note that we're focusing on today. Color Note is a free handwriting note taking application that is available on the iPad iPhone, and on Macs with the M1 series chips. You can customize your new notebook from 76 paper templates that can be any color you want. These color options are similar to the ones you have for your pen tool in the application. You also get some cute paper templates for journaling and planning. Color Note unfortunately does not have page size options. However, its pages are not difficult to use on the 12.9 inch iPad Pros but they might be difficult to use on smaller iPads. Most of the templates are unique to Color Note. You will not find them in any other note-taking application. The user interface in the application is not the most beautiful, but what would you expect from a free application, right? The application has two pen types, a ballpoint and fountain pen. The fountain pen is not a new pen in the application. Is the same as the ballpoint pen, just with pressure sensitivity permanently turned on. You no longer have the option to use pressure sensitivity for your pen tool. You now get the fountain pen instead. Both pens don't pixelate when you zoom in on your notes. You can customize the color, thickness, and opacity of your pen tool. The default color palette, though smaller, still has too many colors, which will annoy any minimalist. We appreciate the palette can hold a lot of colors, which we believe the developer is trying to demonstrate. Point taken. But can we keep this to just one window that you don't have to scroll? Not many note takers would scroll 10 minutes just to use one color, especially because the app lets you save your favorite pen tools. The paper writing sounds are cool. Is this a feature more developers should consider adding? Do tell. Is this something that makes writing on glass bearable for anyone? We'll just be curious to know because this is probably one of the reasons besides the actual friction you get from paper like the sound as well might help to give you the illusion that you're writing on paper. So let us know, for those of you that use Color Note, if this is actually working. The pencil tool in the application has similar colors, sizes, and opacity options to the pen tool. You can also edit to favorites. What's a note-taking app without a pencil tool, right? It doesn't matter where your highlighter goes in Color Note, it will take a lot of layers to dim your notes. The application has an option to put your highlighter in front and behind. It's the same. So far, we've not seen any difference. The handwriting experience in Color Note is excellent. There is no lag. Palm rejection is perfect, which might make you wonder why you need to purchase a note-taking app at all. But don't jump onto the app just yet. The eraser in Color Note can erase per stroke or pixel. You can also use the scribbling gesture for erasing items on the page. It's not as responsive as the eraser tool though, so you might find yourself needing to use the eraser tool anyway. Auto deselect switches back to the last tool you were using before the eraser as soon as you stop using it. The app does not erase the highlighter only though. That's quite a limitation. Finally, you can type on your pages now. About time. Color Note has dramatically improved how it handles text in the application. You can choose to align your text, make it bold, italic, or underline, 
and you can also highlight your text. The app has made it easier to style your notes. You can style your selected text, all the text, the current paragraph, or new text that you'll be adding. Styling changes the font, size, and color of your text. The application supports custom fonts, which is awesome. You can save at least 10 favorite text styles, after which the app starts acting funny. Can't really express what happens. 10 styles are plenty though. We couldn't be happier. Color Note has rigid and freehand lasso tools that pick up your handwritten notes. It also has an option for you to pick up everything on the page. The rectangular one also resizes only your handwritten notes. You can change your ink type, hue, thickness, and color. The app now moves your selection across your pages, which is awesome. It's surprising that GoodNotes hasn't figured out this one yet. Color Note still recognizes six regular shapes and curves only. Its curves are sophisticated though. They support multiple curvatures, allowing you to draw complex graphs in the application. It is without doubt the best curve tool on the market. You can autofill your shapes in color note. Your fill can be simple and of any opacity you choose. It can also be made from several colors. You can even layer your fills. This is also the best autofill feature in a note taking app at the moment. However, the shapes tool in color note still needs a bit of work. You still can't resize or rotate your shapes. The ruler tool for drawing irregular shapes is still a painful experience in 2022. One we hope to see improved in future updates. You can add a photo from photos or your iPad camera. We can now select one item at a time in color note. This got some of us smiling from ear to ear. By some, I really just mean me. You can also drag and drop images into the application now. Happy times. You can't drag them out of the application though, but one feature at a time, right? You can then do the following with your images in color note. You can resize and rotate simultaneously. You can stretch or shrink your images. You can flip them. Crop them into different shapes, which makes your images look cute in your notes. Apply filters, blur sections in your images, and you can even draw on your images. The drawing tools are not amazing though, even with the Apple Pencil. The sticker collection in the app is growing. Your handwritten notes still don't stick to your sticky notes though, which we hope will change in the future. You can add audio recordings to your notes in color note. The application syncs them to your handwritten notes but not your text. It continues recording when you exit the application or if your iPad sleeps as long as the notebook is open. Playback is not as animated as it is in notability though. You can speed up the audio playback speed or slow it down. You can also view all the recordings in your notes. You can add hyperlinks and links to your notes in color note. Hyperlinks link to other pages in your notebook. While links send you to web pages. Not many note taking applications can create hyperlinks. Your link can be the thumbnail of the page you're linking to, an outline area with a shadow around the link, or just transparent. The cool thing is that you can add your link to anything on the page, text, diagrams, handwritten notes, or even blank pages in your notebook. You can add interactive web links to browse web pages from within your notebook. The application has some default bookmarks and suggestions which you can edit to add or delete your own. 
you can drag and drop sections out of web pages into your notes, which is good for research. This is just awesome. Your web links, like your hyperlinks, can also be outline areas or thumbnails. OCR in Colonote can convert your handwriting to text, and it can also extract text from images. Both are quite accurate, which is impressive for a free application. You can also Google Translate sections of your notes, handwritten or text, into different languages. Awesome! PDF reading in the application has improved in the past year even though your PDF annotations are limited to your handwriting tools. You can't interact with the text on your PDF, which most users seem to prefer. You can also do the following with your PDFs now in Colonote. You can navigate outlines and hyperlinks. You can bookmark pages with different icons. You can add pages between pages in your PDF. That pretty much covers the most basic PDF annotation you would get in a note-taking app. Colonote supports vertical scrolling, which allows your handwriting to overlap between pages, but it's not good if you want to export your notes out of the application. The app can automatically number your pages, which is something we love about the application. A notebook can have different page templates. You can also change the page color for your notebook. Unfortunately, the color change can't be applied to a single page. It's applied to the whole notebook. It is also easy to duplicate pages in the application. Presentations you make from Colonote are limited to using laser pointers and pens. The application has 15 pointers with three different size options. The laser tool writes temporary ideas during your presentation. It can be any color you like, and you can also determine its size. Though it supports split view with other applications, Colonote does not support multiple instances. The application supports true dark mode, which means it can convert your pages as well as the user interface. You can collaborate on your documents in real time. It feels more like instant collaboration because it disconnects when you go offline. The application lets you invite people via email or their nickname. It gives you a bit of control over who you collaborate with. Colonote tracks all the changes made to the document, which makes them easier to find and review. However, when too much is going on, tracking every stroke can be overwhelming. Rooms are public collaboration notebooks for trying out the collaboration feature if you don't have anyone to try it out with. You can export your notes as a native format, PDF or PNG image. Colonote can export a range of multiple pages or single pages at a time. Every note-taking app must allow you to share your notes. Colonote stores your notes locally on your device or in iCloud Drive. The application uses files for organizing your notes, which is a good approach for organizing your notes on your iPad. You can create an infinite number of folders within folders. Colonote is the most frustrating note-taking app we've ever tried. Most of the frustrations come from bugs that plague most applications. We can understand that apps have bugs. However, the Colonote developer actively confuses users by adding features that are still under development, features he's still working on. We wouldn't be complaining if we kept those for beta testers, but no, he adds them to the application for all users. When you try using the features, the app then tells you the feature is still under development. What is it doing in the application then? There should be a rule on App Store that forbids that kind of thing because it is very confusing and frustrating, even for a free application. Overall, Colonote has received plenty of updates since we reviewed it in 2021. We're still hesitant to recommend the application because it's a bit unstable. We wish the developer could stop adding more features and focus on the application's stability to create something users can rely on for serious note-taking. 
We would also like to see some basic features as well because the application packs some amazing cool features but lacks very simple basic things. Having said that, who should consider using Color Note? We recommend Color Note for anyone looking to replace Apple Notes because it is too simple. Color Note has a similar writing engine but with a bit more function. Anyone who wants to take basic or minimalist notes, we also recommend it for new digital note takers that are curious to see what's possible. But when you commit to digital note taking, you'll certainly need a more serious note taking app. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let us know what you think about color note in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out our digital notebooks. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.